the F happened to Kristen? And we will get to that. It will be in the end of the video somewhere. We have to watch the whole thing. But uh, without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to get the dead YouTuber look that you saw in the beginning of the tutorial. Here I'm taking a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and adding this to my foundation to give my skin a very white and dead look. To create the carved heart, you're going to want to split Kleenex so it's very thin and then rip these up into jaggedy edges. You don't want to use scissors because you don't want it to be a straight line or else it's not going to blend into your skin. This is a liquid latex. Make sure you find one that dries clear. I took a Q-tip and put this in in the area, basically in the shape of a heart and then laid the tissue paper over it. You wanna use a good amount of latex so this actually like sticks on there and saturates pretty well. Once that's all on there, you're gonna take the Q-tip again and put a layer of latex on top. Once that is completely saturated, um, you can take a blow dryer and dry this. You wanna make sure it's fully dry and not tacky when you start the next layer. You're gonna repeat these three steps about three or four times depending on how deep you want your cut to look. Ryan literally keeps putting chocolate in front of my face and I'm just gonna eat that. It's very hard to do a voiceover. I'm doing a voiceover! And I'm growing these babies out to wax them, don't worry about that. Now you're gonna measure out your tissue strips for your neck and make sure that it is the length that you'd like it and then taking that same Q-tip or a different one, whatever you want, um, you're going to put latex over the entire area where you'd like to place the tissue paper and you can be pretty generous with this, just don't let it drip down your neck. And you're going to place the tissue paper on top and push it down into the latex, make sure it's pretty saturated. And you know the drill, then you're gonna cover this with latex, you're gonna dry it with a blow dryer and you're gonna repeat this step. Um, I did this about four times for this one and I could have actually done it a few more. Um, I, I should have made the uh, cut look a little, a little deeper. And taking a sponge, I am smoothing out the edges into my skin to make it as seamless as possible. Now for the fun part. So you're basically gonna take your fingernails and pinch the latex and then cut a little hole in there. And then you really should be using like safety scissors for this, not super sharp uh, scissors that could literally cut my entire face off. But if you have to be super dangerous like me, you're gonna make sure you point that blade away from your face, like push up against the latex a little bit so that that sharp edge is not pointing down because you will stab yourself. As you can see, I'm just cutting the shape of a heart into the latex. This might take some time. And then to make it look like a deeper cut and like you can actually see the cut, I am cutting out some of the latex on the sides just to make that gash look a little larger. And if the skin flap in the center, that's the heart starts to come up, you can always use some spirit gum to glue that baby down. Same drill with the neck cut. I am pinching the latex and then cutting a little hole and then making my way across. And I'm making this not a straight line because if I had made a straight line with the scissors, it would look like I cut it with scissors. I'm also cutting a little excess latex out of the way towards the center of my throat just to make it look like the gash is even larger and kind of leaving the edges alone so those look thinner because that's how a natural cut would look, right? Now using some leftover foundation, I'm taking a small brush and covering the edges and most of the latex with the foundation and I'm not worrying about like all of it completely needing to be covered because we're gonna be going in with lots of bruising and blood. Here I'm adding a dark purple eyeshadow to my foundation to create a bruise tone. I'm adding this around all of the cuts and anywhere on my face that I wanna look more, make look battered and beaten. And this is actually a matte color, but I don't buy MAC if you know me. It's, uh, they test on animals. So this is just one that I've had literally for years. And here I am putting a gel turquoise liner on my neck just to fill in where the latex covered my tattoo. Taking a rusty brown type of color, I'm taking a fluffy brush and adding this under my eyes and kind of around the same spots that I just added some of the other bruising in to add another dimensional color to and I'm gonna be creating another bruise on my chin. I also ended up adding a little bit of red lipstick to this brush and around the bruises to make it look a little more irritated. Um, honestly, there was just a red lipstick near me and I was like, oh, I could probably use that for something. Now I'm outlining a couple bruises. I'm gonna do one on my cheekbone and then one on my chin and I'm kind of just outlining that with the pigment and then kind of diffusing it outwards. Here I've mixed that same dark purple eyeshadow from earlier with a little bit of black body paint and I'm just adding some extra dimension to this bruise and then going in with a little bit of a light pink body paint and applying that to the top of the bruise as well. 
And then I'm gonna be adding some yellow here. This is just yellow body paint, um, water activated, and kind of just putting that in there. I feel like I could have done a little better making that bruise look more realistic, but again, I was very rushed, and I have pretty much only made one bruise on my face in my entire life. Honestly, just going willy-nilly with these colors and kind of just adding them wherever I think that they should be to create a bruised and battered effect. Taking black body paint and a small, tiny brush, I'm filling in all of the areas where it's supposed to look like there is a cut. And then I'm taking red body paint and doing the same thing. The black is just adding a little bit more depth to make it look like an even deeper cut. Maybe to make it look like it is full of some dried blood as well. I'm just adding a little bit more red body paint on my lips to make those look a little busted up. Adding a little bit of black in there to make it look like real blood. And then I stuck my finger in the red and kind of just added this on top of the cuts. And I don't know, I just like got crazy for a second. I was like, I want blood everywhere. So I added this on my neck and other random places to make it really look like I was dead and beaten. Now I'm taking some coagulated blood. This is like the most fun part for me and most rewarding. I'm filling this in all the areas that are supposed to look like they were carved out. And this shit looks so realistic. I don't know. I would only use coagulated blood too because the other blood is just gonna be way too messy. And this actually holds tight into the little crevices and really looks so real. You might also notice that I have some spear mascara and some like random veins and stuff like that. And I did some stuff on my shoulders, my chest as well. My camera was off for this because I am a genius and I like to drink wine when I do tutorials. So yeah, but um, here I'm adding some blood to the neck area too and just really putting tons of it on there. So it drips and looks really realistic. It's the only way out. Pets, pets everywhere. She's always editing, take my picture, adjust my lighting. It's nonstop. There's blood going down now. Ew, this stuff does not taste good. But first, let me take a selfie. Here's the finished look right here. Um, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> I had to actually rush during this a lot because I was doing a Snapchat takeover and I only have a certain amount of time to get this done in. So I encourage you to take your time on this and look up reference photos and really um, get detailed with it if you want it to look really real. So that's something that I didn't technically get to do this time, but it turned out pretty cool still. And um, if you guys recreate this in any way, I would love to see it. So please hashtag Kristen Lee Ann on Instagram or tag me or whatever, tweet me. I can't wait to see them. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and I will have more Halloween tutorials coming up for you guys. And also please tweet me your Halloween looks. I would love to see what you guys create. Um, the UD Halloween contest is going so smashingly. You guys are creating some awesome stuff and I look forward to seeing more. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will see you next time. Bye. I also want to take a quick moment to say thank you to channels like Made You Look, Jordan Hans, and Glamigor for just really getting down to the nitty gritty with the latex and the fun special effects. It's something I've never worked with before and I definitely get a lot out of their channels and they teach me something new. And it's super cool because I can text any of them and ask them any questions and they are just so giving with their knowledge and I just want to say that I appreciate you guys. So if you don't follow them, you should be following them. I will leave their links in the description box. Please go check them out and give them some love.